July, in this beautiful July day, we are in Santa Fe Museum Hill for the International Folk Art Market. Come join Johnny Octopus and see all their wares and crafts and arts for all the different artisans all over the world. Come, follow me. In spite of the strict travel restrictions and only having about 25% of exhibitors in attendance, the visit to IFAM gave a good sliver of what this market is all about. Artists from Algeria, Cuba, Guatemala, Mexico to Uzbekistan have come here to show their wares and crafts. There are woodworks such as boxes, figure, and carved panels either stained or painted for wall hanging and decors and plenty of folk style painting on canvases and boards. There are also a lot of pottery and glass, which colors are mixed to form modern swirl design and patterns. An abundance of what you'll see here are colorful fiber art, woven embroidery or applique for throws, blankets, panels, and clothing. These are quite unique and can be quirkily fashionable. I would like to create our system for you. and fold it half and quarter and eighths. Then, when we make the holes through all the layers of the piece of paper, to transfer the pattern from the piece of paper to the fabrics. Okay. Then after that, we use a pencil to mark the points together and make the design very clear and then to ready to be stitching. But before we start the applique, we make a piece of canvas like this, be tagged. On a, piece, on, on a light Egyptian cotton or for fabrics. All the materials is Egyptian cotton, even the threads. And then we do tacking and then we start to do a There were artists who brought jewelry, scarves, and figurative colorful objects. These are paint ceramics. But wearable crafts were the most predominant. Okay, so what so, is it called again? So this is called a wipil, it's from Guatemala. This is from a woman named Rosario Ranzan. It's her first time to um, display at the IFAM market and she was not able to get a visa, so I'm here. But she's starting her first cooperative. She has mm -hmm. five women now that are helping work with her. And um, she's doing these embroidery, these repeal style of bracelets, as well as the embroidery. No, the repeal means the embroidery. The repeal, the, well, this is more, the repeals were, were from the blouses. So these okay. were from vintage blouses that have been. Oh, beautiful. And then they're put on leather. And these sell for between twenty and thirty-five dollars, and then we have the embroidery ones as well as the beadwork, which again is all on leather. Wow. It's very, very well done. Beautiful. And, and like yeah. I said, her father was an artist, and her mother was a But what gravitated us most are the brightly colored sculpture of mostly animal and mythical figures called alibrijes. These wonderful, playful looking objects are usually whittled off soft wood, sanded and painted. An artist that we recognize here is Armando Enrique Jimenez. 
His work has been in galleries all over the U.S. Armando uses Osakan wood from Mexico and has his son and mother as part of his atelier. His color palettes or combination are quite agreeable and not as jarring and kitschy as other Alibreas artists. By the brim. Try not to pinch it, you'll keep it cracking. But there is a way to handle and hold it and put it on. How do you travel with it? Like, do you, do you just kind of hold it? There is a certain style that can be rolled up, put in your back pocket, go. The colors, the design, the texture, that was fun, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more of Jaunty Octopus's arts and craft visits. So hope to see you again soon. Bye now.